Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a specialized large language model which you can use it as a judge in your LLM pipelines to identify if your pipeline is experiencing any hallucinations or infactual information from the large language models. This model has been created by Patronus AI and the model is Llama 3 Patronus Lynx 8 billion instruct. They also have released this same model in the 70 billion flavor, which is of course maybe geared towards the enterprises. So this model Lynx is a state of the art hallucination detection LLM that has outperformed GPT-4O, Claude 3 Sonnet and closed and open source LLM as a judge models. Let me show you one example from their blog post. So for instance, if you look at this, on the left hand side there is a question, there is a contextual document and then there is an answer. This was then tested with OpenAI's GPT-4O, Anthropic's Cloud, which I just mentioned, the so Cloud 3 Sonnet and then at the end there is a Lynx. So the answer for this question is not good enough but still you see that both OpenAI and Anthropics model, models were unable to detect that. But Lynx, the model from um, Patronus AI was able to detect the hallucination and then the good thing is that it is even given the reasoning behind its score. So which is quite good and so in this video we are going to install this model 8 billion one locally and then we will also test it out on few of the benchmarks. So the way this model works is that you give it a question, a context document and an answer and then it validates that answer in the context of that document and question and then gives you the score of fail and pass and also its reasoning and that is what we are going to test out. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to this website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So coming back to this model, let's go and try to get this thing installed and then we will also look at it furthermore. So this is my Ubuntu system with Ubuntu 22.04. And I have one GPU card of 48 GB VRAM with NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Let me create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it Lynx and the Python is 3.11. Let's wait for it to get activated. Conda environment is created. Let's install the prerequisites which include Torch, Transformers and Accelerate. Let's wait for it to get finished. And that is installed now. Let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and then we will download and play with the model in the browser. The notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries which we have installed and then let's download this Patronos AIS model which is Lynx 8 billion. And the model is being downloaded. There are four shards of it. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And you can see that this is being used for text generation and then we are just giving it the output uh, to be 600 tokens and CUDA is my GPU device. And while this download happens, let me give you a bit more information around this model. So if you go to the model card, there are a lot of good information which they have shared. For instance, this is an open source model. It was trained um, on mix of data sets including COVID QA, PubMed QA, DROP, RAG Truth, and the data set contains a mix of hand annotated and synthetic data. The sequence, uh, the context length of this model is 8K. It is only available in English, but I have seen that there are few multilingual capabilities with this model, which you can check out. Also, um, they have tested a lot of um, data sets with it, for example, and they compared it with GPT-40. So for instance, in medical answers, which is PubMed QA, Link 70 billion was 8.3% more accurate than GPT-40 and remember that GPT-40 is world's number one LLM at the moment. So in order to detect medical inaccuracies, the Link 70 billion performed very well, which is quite good. And then um, 
similarly on other benchmarks like hello bench it has beaten cloud 3 sonnet and cloud 3 Heiko. and both links 8 billion and 70 billion have achieved significantly increased accuracy compared to open source model baselines with links 8 billion showing gains of 13.3 percent over llama 38 billion instruct how good is that now they have the good thing which i like about them is that they are supporting real world domains like finance and medicine which is not that common and by the way you can also use it with uh, olama if you like okay so let's see where we are at let's go back to our okay so our model is downloaded you can see that it has downloaded all the four shards so make sure you have this much space on your system and tokenizer is also downloaded now the secret sauce of this model is of course is um, its prompt template so let me show you let me put it here so my system is running a bit slow today okay that is good so let me paste the prompt here so this is the prompt which i was talking about let me make it fit on the screen so if you look at this prompt first we are telling the model what needs to be done and make sure that you keep your prompt in this template because model has been um, fine-tuned on this one so we are telling it that given the following question this is a question and document on uh, and answer you must analyze the provided answer and determine whether it is faithful to the content of the document and the answer must not offer new information beyond the context provided in the document so it is also sort of doing a rag retrieval augmented generation um, the answer also must not contradict information provided in the document so it is trying to totally ground that response in the context we have provided and then we are telling it that output your final verdict by strictly following this format pass if the answer is faithful fail if answer is not faithful and also show your reasoning and for this one i've just hard coded the question answer and document that question is what is the capital of australia and then document is just listing some information about australia which contains its capital and then we are telling it the capital of australia is canberra and then we are just telling it that the output should be json format and then uh, with reasoning and score and we have also given it the format here so let's run it to set the prompt template that is done and now let's send it to the model so i'm just putting it in this prompt template messages i'm piping it which is going to send it to the uh, tokenizer which is going to convert it into tokens those tokens will be sent to model model is going to generate the output tokenizer will decode it and then we are going to display the result in the markdown and now look at the json response here where it is the reasoning is the question asked for capital of australia the context provides information about australia and specifically mentions that its capital is canberra the answer states that the capital of australia is canberra and then the score is passed as you can see here so it is perfectly fine let's try to um, maybe i'll just go up and change the uh, document to something else like i'll i'm just going to say that okay now it is sydney instead of canberra and then see what it does which is strong but let's see i'm just going to uh, test the model so because i'm sure that in models own training data it will be listed as canberra i just want to see whether model follows its own training data or it really sticks to or remains faithful to prompt here score is failed you see so model is totally following our instructions this prompt so really good stuff now in the next example i'm trying to confuse the model so i have said what is the capital of australia now the document says australia is a country in the southern hemisphere its capital is canberra which is home to many national institutions however some people mistakenly believe the capital is sydney and then some people think the capital of australia is sydney but it's actually canberra so let's run this to set the uh, prompt template and let, let's try to see what model does now and there you go so model has perfectly scored it pass and look at the reasoning that the context provides information about the capital of australia being canberra it's also mentioned that some people mistakenly believe 
and that aligns with uh, the context by acknowledging the misconception about the capital being Sydney and correcting it by stating that the actual capital is Canberra. Amazing stuff. So really good stuff by this links model. Really like it. So I believe that if, <clears throat> if you have a, a large language model pipeline where you are doing some stuff and you want to make sure that uh, your LLM is not hallucinating, then maybe you can just put in this links model as a judge in between your LLM responses and your user. So great stuff, really like it. I will drop the link to it in video description, play around with it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.